let's make a Halloween light up shadow box. Keep watching. Okay, so we're gonna start off with some of these from, they were from Target last year. They're actually wrappers that go around drink bottles. So I've chosen this one. They come in a variety pack. Probably can find them this year too. And I've cut mine down already to show you that it's gonna fit the size of this thrifted shadow box that I got from Goodwill. I'm gonna use some double stick tape to easily put this down. You could use hot glue, but it's going to make it a mess if you decide to repurpose it. So, a little bit of double stick tape will do the trick. I'm just using my little popsicle stick to flatten it down, make sure that the glue is sticking. And I've got this thrifted frame that I knew I wanted to use for Halloween, and it fits perfectly over this box. Just a coincidence. I'm going to use popsicle sticks to help give some support to the box when it comes to putting on the frame and keeping it in place. Just using my little nippers here that, of course, came from... Goodwill, and it looks like they were very loved at one time. They're stained, but they are clean. I'm gonna use some hot glue and make sure our sticks are the same length and that they're the correct depth for the box and the frame. And then we're going to set the frame back on top. Make sure that it fits correctly. If it doesn't, just go ahead and snip off a little bit more. You can use a few dots of hot glue underneath the edge of the frame to hold it in place, but I am going to use this 3M black tape. It's like a duct tape, but it's black. Seems to be the right width, and I know that it'll have a good strong grip. I'm just going to use it on the bottom of the frame, and then I'm going to do the same thing up there on the top. See, I've just flipped it over there. Okay, do y'all remember this cat? This cat was from one of the first videos that I did, either the first or the second one. He's one that had a different face and I painted them all black and then started over. And I painted that. Just used some hot glue and put him on the corner. Then I'm gonna take some of this Dollar Tree ribbon. It is wired and I'm going to make a bow with it. There's also this orange that is sheer. It actually has like a spider web pattern. It's really pretty, or a crackle pattern. So the two look really, they look good together, I think. And then I'm just going to make my bow. I've got a six inch tail, pinching it. And I'm going to make about a six inch loop. Pinch it toward the center. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to flip it. And then there we go. I'll pinch toward the center. Just going to make sure my loops are even. Okay, then I'm going to, while I'm still holding on to the other one, I'm going to do the same thing for this Happy Halloween ribbon. I'm going to have a six inch tail. I'm going to make two six inch loops and they're all going to be stacked together. Just a little bit of fluffing. And get a good grip on the bow and then we're going to add that tie there. A little zip tie. Now I'm just curling and fluffing again and deciding on placement and I'm also going to dovetail and I think I've also heard this being called fishtails but I'm going to dovetail the ends which is just cutting a V in the ends. Okay for the center to cover up that tie I'm going to fold a strip of that bow in thirds then I'm just going to wrap it around the back, add some glue on the 
chide area, press it down, got my little finger protector on there, and I'm going to fold the end up and glue it down. If you need to, go ahead and clip that off so that it's not sticking up on the top of your bow. Now I'm going to add some glue and secure my bow. Here's one of my laundry clips from the Dollar Tree. You can get those in, I think, a pack of six. Some are white and some are blue. They're really handy for these thicker projects. Okay, so I've decided that my kitty cat down there deserved a little bit prettier of a bow, a little more festivity. So I've just taken a little scrap of this orange ribbon that came also from Dollar Tree. And I've used the jute to tie it in the middle. And I'll snip that off. It's just a little simple bow. And I'll be using some hot glue to attach that to his original bow. Okay, so I've taken this little plastic spider and I'm just going to stick him down because I think he looks good on the webs and going to fluff up that bow. I want to be sure that I'm curling the tails under and I'm just doing that with my fingers. It's really easy to do. And so I've decided since my paint it doesn't have very good coverage here to just take a chalk marker. It's either the chalk marker or metallic marker from Dollar Tree and fill in over the original area that I painted to make that white pop a little bit better. And then when that is done, I'm going to take a black, it's actually a glass marker. It has got a great fine tip on it, so almost like a paintbrush tip, I love it. And I'm going to use that to trace out that area and it really makes it look a lot better. This is a permanent marker also. And that looks much better, I think. Okay, so here it is without the light. Well, with the light still on, actually. But you can see behind the cat and up there toward the tail of that bow where the spider is, you can see that I have some little Dollar Tree flickering Halloween tea lights. In a minute, I'm going to show you what that looks like when we turn off the lights. I think it turned out so adorable. So there you can see a little bit of a light flickering. My smiling cat, I'm very pleased with him. He looks happy there. I'm glad I got to use him. Okay, so here it is with the lights dimmed. Is that not the cutest thing ever? You could also use some of the little fairy string lights if you wanted to. Um, any way you, that you wanna do it, but these do fit down in there. There's two, there's one in the left bottom and then there's one in the right bottom side kind of behind the cat's head all right thanks for watching and i'm so glad that you came over we've got more halloween to come subscribe and i'll see you real soon bye